economic rent. There's a term that's a little confusing because we think we know what rent is. Rent in general is the payment that land earns. It's what you pay if you want to use land. But economic rent is something different. It has a special definition. Economic rent is any payment to a factor, any factor income, above and beyond what is needed to keep that factor employed at its current level. In other words, you're already using, for instance, some labor. If you want more labor, how much more will you have to pay for it? Let's look at an example. Let's say that there's only one of something. So the supply curve of some kind of labor is perfectly inelastic. This will be the quantity of Britney Spears. And the quantity of Britney Spears is only one. So given the demand for Britney Spears, which seems to be changing, if that's the original demand for Britney Spears, she earns W1. Now, if there's an increase in the demand for Britney Spears, the increased income that she earns at her higher wage, W2, is what we call pure rent. Because you already had one Britney Spears employed. And if you want more of her, you can't get more of her. You just pay more for her. So the increased income is what we call pure economic rent. It's 100% rent. The increase in her factor income from W1 times 1 Britney Spears to W2 times 1 Britney Spears is pure economic rent, 100% rent. Now, that's in the strange case where the elasticity of supply is zero. It's perfectly inelastic. There's only one of her. What about a situation where supply has some elasticity, but not total elasticity? So here we'll have labor, wage, What if the supply curve for some form of labor, teachers, let's say, what if some teachers are currently employed L1 teachers earning a wage of W1 and then there's an increase in demand for them. And the new wage they earn is W-2. Well, you had to increase the wage to get more people to work. Or to look at another way around, the people in between here, these marginal teachers from L1 to L2, to get those teachers, to get those people to come work as teachers, you had to pay you had to increase the wage you were offering. Now, the very last guy, the L-tooth guy, you had to pay him W-2, but you're paying everybody W-2. So this increase in income, the increase in wage that you had to offer to get people to go from L-1 to L-2 is rent. That part of the increased factor income is rent. What about the extreme case of elastic labor supply? What if the supply of labor is completely elastic?
In this case, you start out with demand D1, L1 people work earning a wage of L1, excuse me, a wage of W1. And when demand increases, if we have an elasticity of supply in this case that's infinite, then there is no rent. You don't have to increase anybody's wage to get more people to work. At wage W1, you can get more workers. You're paying more. Total, total income to workers goes up. But you don't have to increase the wage of the people who are already working at point A. At the same wage, W1, you can get as many people to work for you as you want. So none of their income is rent. Rent is also called scarcity value. Britney Spears earns a pure rent when demand for her labor goes up because she's scarce. She's perfectly scarce. There's only one of her. So all of the increased spending on her labor is rent. In this case we have in front of us, none of the increase in income is rent. Yes, at point A, that much is being spent on labor. And at point B, that much is being spent on labor. But none of the increase is rent because you don't have to pay a higher wage to get the increased labor. The intermediate case, which is the normal case, which we've already seen, when the supply is not perfectly elastic and not perfectly inelastic looks like this, where some of the increased income, once again, we can look here, that's the total amount being spent on labor at point A, W1 times L1. This is the total amount being spent on labor at point B, W2 times L2. It grew, but not all of the increase was rent. Some of the increase was rent. And you can imagine rotating the supply curve. As the supply curve gets steeper and steeper and steeper and steeper, Britney Spears' case, it's all rent.